Welcome friends to Joke Mod and it's an awesome mod pack by Risco and Silox and team and they've been it, they've done a really good job with this. So this video is going to be in two parts. One is going to be just go through some of the small basic features of the game uh, so you can get a flavor of it. And the second part is going to be how to actually install it and get it working and set up on your PC. If you're just looking for that part, look below in the chapters. There will be a chapter called probably set up or installation or something. And you can click there and jump directly to there. But I'm going to jump into it. So it's basically an all overhaul mod that is really awesome. I'm really enjoying Enjoying it and uh, I've been playing it on my community for a while and you'll see down in my hop bar here a bunch of different things that are well it's a little bit different than vanilla and it is a joke mod so it's meant for just fun and flavor and everything like that you'll see I'm actually slowly building up stench there is no infection but you slowly get stinky and stinky and then you get penalties and then you start summoning in a lot of well you'll see you'll summon in her uh, you know, you might not like the regular Karens or Screamers, but uh, wait until you see the Mega Karens. Of course, you got the big bonehead as well, and some nice clowns, and you'll have some gummy bears. Oh, aren't they delicious? And we'll have some plastic treats. Yep, it's all part of Joke Mod. Really fun. Of course, when it comes to food, who doesn't want to eat wrecked snuts and have some uh, red wine? Always delicious. Ah, oh, delicious. When it comes to guns, this is a bunch of guns. All the vanilla guns in general are there, plus a bunch of bang, other stuff, such as bang, 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 finger guns, bang, finger gun, bang, finger can, stuff like that. If you prefer water guns? Well, of course, they exist as well. I mean, we all need some water guns, don't we? Walk around with plastic tools. They're actually pretty good. Maybe not as good as steel, but they're good. And, oh, golden guns that shoot your duke so um, you're gonna end up poor but at least it's good if you don't have any other ammunition it features a bunch of different vehicles we have a pretty normal police apc here that is pretty good and let's see here we have a small helicopter the whirly bird good as well to flying around we're not going to spend too much time with that oh we have a really cool sci-fi car there's a bunch of vehicles that uh, you will be experiencing so for instance who doesn't want to ride around on a new mobile? Doesn't require any. Doesn't require any fuel, so that's nice. And we look at it. Really cool. And actually, this one is even better. Raptor. And look at the animations. It's really cool. It's uh, something that the mobile wall. If you notice, it actually moved its leg. Last version didn't have that, but they've added it. So yep, now you have a raptor. You have a mobile and. Uh, a lot of really cool vehicles, a lot of really cool guns, really cool things that are in the game. The general progression is very similar to basic. And let's see if I can go to that. You'll see it has all the usual stuff. It has some uh, Joker mod as well. There's, there's laser weapons as well. But there's a bunch of extra skills and things that will just help you play Joke mod, which is really cool. So if you know vanilla, this one should feel pretty much right at home, plus all the joke humor p pieces that are in there that just makes for a really fun playthrough. I definitely recommend this is something that you should be trying out. Just go and enjoy it with your friends, have them installed, make it a uh, server, and just have fun together. Because don't take it so seriously. It's not like vanilla where you really should worry about things, but just go out and enjoy it. There's a lot of things that uh, you probably will have fun with. And now that you know a little bit more about what joke mod is all about, let's look at how to install, which is actually fairly easy if you use the seven days that I mod launcher by Sphere. Thank you, awesome software. Now there are two versions out there. There's the new and cool one that I'm going to show, which has less options actually, that you go down here. There's a Windows version, there's a Linux version, so you've just followed that to actually get it installed. If you're looking for the old mod launcher link, it actually is here. You can download it. It has some more options, but it's uh, basically being phased out. Only gets critical bug fixes, no new features, but it generally does work if you prefer that. Otherwise, just head here. Most people use Windows, so hit the download, extract, run modlauncher.exe. Once you have and it, it's started up, this is how it looks. There's some you can explore a little bit. We're going to go to install an overhaul. And there's a bunch of different overhauls that generally work fairly similar when it comes to installing the mod pack. I'm going to go down to joke mod. Important, read through it. Specifically, version information is very important because you need to make sure that whatever alpha version this mod pack relies on is installed right now on your PC. So it requires this one in this case requires alpha 20.6. 
6. So you have to have that installed on your PC because otherwise it will not be compatible. Some mod packs might only be updated for let's say 20.2, which means that you have to roll back your existing vanilla install to 20.2 before you install the overhaul and then you can upgrade your, your, your vanilla version again. Uh, so what's gonna happen here is that it basically has some information. We're gonna go to install. It's going to find a copy of, well, you can decide where the copy from local, which is what you generally should do. You could download it from Steam as well, but you have to put in your credentials. I don't like to do that in third party software. No offense to Sveri. I'm sure he doesn't do anything bad about it, but I just don't like from a security standpoint. So I'm going to do copy from local. It generally will find the location if you've installed it through Steam. We're going to do start copy. It's going to be copy, uh, copying it from your current seven days to now, your vanilla. Put that on a totally separate install on your hard disk or SSD, if that's what you what you need to do. After that, it's going to grab the files from the joke mod repository, which was GitLab, as you saw, was briefly mentioned here on the, the path. And it's going to download that and unzip it and install it on that version, which means that you'll have vanilla still which will be independent and you'll have joke mods. You can have both on your hard disk. You can actually have a bunch of different mod packs. You can have 10 of them, 20, 50, however many you wanna have because they will be independent installs, which is really, really convenient. If you're using the Xbox Game Pass or just the Xbox Store for PC version, things might be a little bit more dicey. I don't have that version, so you, I can't try it out. It might have issues with actually finding the Steam version because it's looking for that. And then you might have to browse and find your Game Pass versions. And there are some minor differences between the Xbox version and the PC version. I'm not talking about console, I'm talking about PC. A fairly common occurrence is where people install this then they start it and it looks like vanilla. What that basically means is that it has made the copy of the vanilla game. It has then failed to either download or failed to install the joke mod or whatever overall you have on top of that. So when you start it, it looks just like vanilla. If this happens, try to back out, go and delete it from wherever it's been installed and redo it. And hopefully the second time it will work. If it doesn't, try a third time. Try a fourth time. It does sometimes happen that it just keeps failing, but hopefully in the end it will work. If it really doesn't, there is information when we were clicking on the overhaul mod and we saw some information on the right side, there was a link to the community uh, forums of Seven Days to Die. You can go there and have a look. Often there is a direct download link, so you can actually download the mod packs and install it manually. That is a fair bit more trouble, so you need to know how to work with mods and everything, but that is a possibility if everything else fails. Most cases, this works fine, but it does fail once in a while, even for me as well. But uh, normally I just delete it, try again, and generally it will work. But we just have to wait here until everything has been copied and everything has been downloaded and installed. And eventually it will be done. And there's some information about, you can go to the Discord and website and Twitter, join the community. And also if you wanna delete or the backup, the saves and everything, play around with it. Just make sure you don't delete your saves, very important. And uh, well, what we do is uh, we're gonna hit play. If there is an update, you can actually run update here and it will download everything to the latest version of the bot. I'm gonna go do that because it should have installed the latest version already. I'm gonna hit play. And here we go. We are now in joke mode and we are on the 20.6 version. And actually, if you noticed, I actually still have the other version of joke mode running in the background because it's a separate install. So let me see if I, here we have the 20.5, which is running right now. And let's see if I can exit out of that one and go to my 20.6. Yes, I can. I have a 20.6 version running as well. Because as I said, they are individual installs. So the 20.5 I installed previously and I copied it away. So I can install this one. So now I have both running actually on the same time. This is how it is it is to just get it up and running. And then you just, as per usual, you start a game, run, uh, join a game if it's a multiplayer server and so on, just like you do in vanilla. Enjoy. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.